So hey man, do you smoke? Yeah. How many packs a day? Three. And um, how much does each pack cost? Seven bucks. Hmm. And for how long have you been smoking? Twenty so years. Seven times three is twenty-one dollars, right? Right. And twenty-one times thirty, that's six hundred thirty dollars, right? Right. Six hundred and thirty times twelve, that's seven thousand five hundred and sixty dollars, right? Right. Seven thousand five hundred sixty dollars times fifteen years is one hundred thirteen thousand four hundred dollars, right? Right. Had you not smoked the past 15 years, you could have bought yourself a Porsche. Hmm. Do you smoke? Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. And where's your Porsche? Ah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, who wants to hold it? I can hold it. For how long have you been smoking? 20... So years. Oh. And where's your Porsche? Uh, yeah. 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 So, fellas, which one of you wants to go first? It was interesting to just focusing on counting the the cigarettes and and money worth and equating that as like a shock value but um, the other guy took it matter as matter of fact like he enjoyed smoking so it was worth that sacrifice it wasn't about the money many times like we think like oh a little bit every day like uh, will like necessarily yield something in the future but not really you know only if you have the mind to it the guy wasn't like like saving up for a Porsche so like yeah he wasn't spending money with cigarettes but he was probably spending money with something else because then where is his Porsche right you will only get a Porsche <laughs> if that's your goal and if you're like saving for that I am not sure I understand what the Porsche has to do with smoking at all <laughs> like a Porsche is more important than say not smoking or smoking or I don't know it's a funny video you can spend money poisoning yourself and not loving yourself um, by doing something as bad as smoking, which destroys your body. Um, and it's also voting with your dollars. So you're voting with your dollars to pay people who don't care about the world. Um, and meanwhile, you're destroying your body. So it's, yeah, so it's a lose-lose. I think the, this planet will start to turn around when people start um, loving themselves. And when you love yourself, you can open your heart and start to love others. But you can't love another until you love yourself. Absolutely. A lot of people think that they know what's the right way and what, what they should do. And it, they're really quick to judge other people. And we soon, seem to forget that that judgment that we have for other people is just almost like judgments of ourselves. Something that was happening inside the guy that was making all those accusations allowed him to not buy that Porsche. And so it kind of made him re-realize that what he is, the faults that he's, that he's seen in other people are just the faults that he has. And so it's a, a nice reminder. I think I might be the perfect candidate then. <laughs> really? Absolutely. Why do you say that? Um, I've never smoked in my entire life, and um, I am an amputee from cancer. <laughs> wow. And I still don't smoke to this day, but so I don't know. I guess uh, in life it's your choice to do what you want because I guess life comes and goes for all of us, so. It's your choice. <laughs> that guy didn't spend a hundred something thousand dollars on cigarettes, but he spent it on something else because he had that money to spend. So I think it wasn't so much about what you're going to spend on cigarettes as much as temptation in general. Because you don't always die from tobacco. Sometimes you just have a hole in your throat. You seen that commercial? It's an old commercial. 
From this film I learned that unless one applies one's mind to something, one is not going to accomplish that thing. The guy who did not smoke did not spend his money on tobacco, but he, like the smoker, did not save his money. He would have saved his money only had he actually put his mind to it. Similar principle works in the spiritual life. Unless you focus your mind on your spiritual path, you are likely not going to find enlightenment. Bhagavad Gita, the great book of spiritual wisdom, teaches. One must deliver oneself with the help of one's mind and not degrade oneself. The mind can be a friend or an enemy. For one who has conquered the mind, the mind is the best of friends. But for one who has not, his mind will be his greatest enemy. The mind is the central point of yoga practice. The purpose of the yoga system is to control the mind and to draw it away from attachment to material objects. The mind must be so trained that it can deliver the soul from the mire of nations. The pure soul is entangled in the material world because the mind is involved with the false ego, which desires to lord it over material nature. Therefore, the mind should be trained so that it will not be attracted by the glitter of material nature. The more one's attracted by sense objects, the more one becomes entangled in material existence. The best way to disentangle oneself is to always engage the mind in spiritual Krishna consciousness. As long as one's mind remains an unconquered enemy, one has to serve the dictations of lust, anger, greed, illusion, etc. Therefore, the mind which is always engaged in Krishna consciousness is the cause of supreme liberation.